Hi, I'm Brian, and I'm building this 38-foot sailboat. In this week's episode, we look at putting this stern tube in, which uh, runs all the way down through the keelson that I put on the inside of the boat, and we have to drill a great big three-inch hole to be able to set this in. So I figured out where my stern tube was going to come into the boat, which is right here. I don't know if you can see or not, but there is a string line here for the angle that it's taken. So I have to follow that up and into that hole and uh, see if I can drill all the way through. I do have a little auger bit and I will be getting a larger uh, Forstner bit so that I can drill it out to the size that I need. So I made an extension using uh, some socket parts. We'll see if that should be enough. It's adding another uh, six to seven inches to it. So hopefully that'll be enough to make it all the way through. Well, I'm assuming the impact will be a little bit stronger than the than the drill. The drill was dying on me. See the point here. Can I see the bottom of it? Yeah, from down where you were. <laughs> yeah, he's through. Or he looks to be, if not. Yeah, you got him. Yeah, he's through now. Okay. So the first thing I need to do to drill that hole out is to take this 7 8 bit and 
drill it through and I've set up a wire line to follow the angle that I need and after that's drilled I can take this 3 inch hole saw with a 7 8 tip which will follow the same hole that I drilled with my auger bit and it's adjustable so I can determine where I want the hole saw to be and how much of this I want in and uh, I'm only able to cut maybe an inch and a half worth of depth and then I have to switch to my third tool which is this two hitted cutter so it only has the two teeth on it and uh, that clears out the inside of this one so it's a multi-step process I have about 20 uh, 21 inches to drill through so that's uh, multiple times of this and even with this bit I did have to do some uh, janky things on the end to make it long enough to be able to get through once it got through I could come from both directions with these so it wasn't as hard So I finished drilling the hole for my stern tube. I'll have a look at it here. 
So it's a three inch hole coming through roughly 20 inches of the keelson to get from the inside to the out. And uh, I have my stern tube, which is I'm just going to turn right around. Which is a fiberglass tube here. And I have my bushings in either end. And we're just going to make sure it fits. And it slides right in. And it's going to roughly be about there. So it gets all encased in wood for my keel. So this will uh, all be embedded into uh, the wood of my keel. And inside here, it comes through lots, gives me lots of room to put on my uh, seal here at this end so that uh, it won't uh, leak any great amount. So everything's looking good. Now I just got to center it both ways so it's exactly where I want it as it's free to move and uh, I gotta shim it and figure out exactly where I want it and hold it in place and then I'm gonna fill up the hole that's there with uh, epoxy, thickened epoxy so that it'll be waterproof all the way through. I think that looks pretty good. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Catch you in the next one.